I sure hope these train tracks are not operational right now. But since we're at a train track, we might as well take the stereotypical pictures. I've never really taken photos with the EOS R yet, so a couple of still shots coming right up. Wait, is that really a thing? Yes, it's a thing. People do it on this all the time. You put a coin on the track, and then you wait for a train to go by, and then you try and you go get it, and it's like all smooshy flat. Really? Yes. Carrie says if we leave a coin on the train track, we could come back and it'll be squished. <laughs> you wanna go to the park? You wanna go for a walk? Woo! We're at Douglas Family Preserve where the dogs can run around off leash, but apparently dogs sometimes fall off the cliffs. So you guys be careful. Be careful, Vita. Are you even paying attention? Now we have one of Canon's best wide angle lenses on the EOS R, so it makes sense that everything's like pretty sharp. Now this is an interesting lens. I picked this up for like 48 bucks. It's a 50 millimeter prime. Obviously when you pick it up, you're like, this is a toy. I mean, you can hear the sound of things rattling around in there. This is definitely not the best 50 millimeter prime lens, but if you don't have anything in this range at this speed, I definitely recommend at least picking this up until you get yourself a better one. It's super lightweight, so it doesn't add any weight to your kit. And if anything happens to it, it's not a huge investment that you lose and it just like fits in your kit. So it's something that you could just kind of keep with you all the time. So I'm curious how this would react on a full frame sensor like this EOS R. I got something. Dogs are off leash, just running around everywhere, meeting all kinds of other dogs. We got a lot of really cool 50 millimeter shots, super slow-mo on the EOS R. And a lot of still shots of Carrie. She's very uncomfortable in front of the camera when I take pictures of her. Do you guys have fun? How about you, Peter? You have fun too? Self-serve dog wash. $10 to start. What? So not only does it cost $10, but you gotta like do it quick. She's feeling so much shame because all the other dogs are getting those luxury $10, $10 baths. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh man. When I get a million subscribers, I will buy you a luxury bath. <laughs> Every time I touch this, the camera shakes and I get kind of nervous. In case the camera falls into the water, I've got this leash which is connected to the camera so you guys can't fall. Santa Barbara is like super peaceful. And it's like Los Angeles is really nice in some parts, but it's like the energy is so different out here, isn't it? Yeah. Like here, everything's, everyone's just chilling. Los Angeles can be pretty, but like everyone's kind of stressed and lots of crazy stuff going on all the time. In four minutes, we're gonna get a parking ticket if you don't get back to the car in time. <laughs> All that running, all that fetch got you all worn out, huh? 
awesome trip. We're on our way back to LA and we're stopping by the train tracks again to see if the pennies have been squished. What? <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh! There you go. see? Whoa! <laughs> so there is. Oh! Oh! Look! And there's a dime! <laughs> Whoa! Here's the quarter. Here's the quarter. <laughs> oh my god, look at this quarter! Wait, this is illegal. This is a federal crime because we're destroying money. You're allowed to legally destroy a penny, but I think this oh, is like well, a federal crime that we're doing right penny. here. Just hold the penny. Oh wait, no. Here, I got the, the penny here. Okay, so edit that part out. Okay, then... we only squished the penny. No <laughs> other federal money was harmed in the making of this video. Please don't take us to jail. This is just like totally flat. Wow. What would have been bad is if we came back here and there was like a train that was completely derailed and like completely <laughs> tipped over. I feel like we should say a quick disclaimer real quick. Putting coins on train tracks um, have killed people before. Have killed like six people before. <laughs> Yeah, having coins derail a train is more of a myth than anything. I mean, if a penny could derail a train, there's a lot more things to be worried about, like rocks and little things. Uh, but people have like put bricks on train tracks before and that derailed a small train. It was like a six cart train I, or something I, like I, that. I buy that. They don't see a train coming while they're like placing all these coins on the train tracks and they get hit. And it's actually happened a bunch of times, so don't do that. In 2007, a retired police officer in New York tried to do it to a train. He jumped on the train tracks and then put some coins down and then he couldn't get out in time and uh, okay, died that why way. Why do people think they need to put it down right as the train is coming? Yeah. We put it down yesterday and came back 24 hours later. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, don't hang out in uh, train tracks and stuff. That's dangerous and you don't need to do that. You're in my shot. This lens uh, I don't know. What'd you guys think? I thought it was pretty good, especially for the money. So if you don't have anything in this focal range, a 50 millimeter prime, I definitely suggest that you could do some really creative stuff with it. So, uh, yeah. And we're back in Los Angeles. Oh, and actually I keep saying $48, but now it's $42. I was thinking like, how good could this lens be if it's this cheap? But you know, you guys saw the results for yourself. Not the best 50 mil lens ever. But again, like if you don't have a 50 mil prime lens, I'd say at least get this. I mean, you could do a lot of like really cool shots with it. And again, it's very inexpensive. So until you save up for a nicer 50 mil, Hey, get it. And I should probably mention that this is not a sponsored video. They did not sponsor it. I spent my own money on it, my whole $42.86. Amazon even tells you, you purchased this item on October 20th. Anyways, let's wrap this up with the usual reading of comments. My last video was the iPhone XS Max versus uh, cinema cameras, which included the red and airy. Let's see what the top comment is. I like the way you pad the video with random science content so that it passes the 10 minute mark. I do not do that, okay? I don't try to stretch out my video past 10 minutes, okay? I end it when I want. How long is this video? Oh man, we still have a few more minutes to go, so let's keep talking. So yeah, for the first three minutes of this video, I was talking about like science healthy stuff for the first few minutes of it. And I can actually see in my analytics that a lot of you guys skip the first three minutes. I'm just trying to give you some life-saving information, okay? And you guys all skip over it, how dare you? He looks like the kid from up. Okay, we've heard this too many times before. Let's, let's move on to something else. You should do very budget cameras like Canon T5i or T6i. And actually I am planning on doing a video just like that. I get a lot of emails and messages saying, hey, I have a budget of about a thousand dollars. What should I get? So I'm planning on putting together a full kit with body, lenses, everything you need for a thousand dollars and testing it out. So stay tuned for that. You look like that potato jet guy. No, I don't, okay? Not all Asians are the same person, okay? You're just stereotyping now. When will you do Aryan Red versus 35 millimeter film? <laughs> oh, that stuff is expensive. I don't think any YouTube video can afford to shoot any 35 millimeter film. Graphic Gaming Sub says, Huawei Mate 20 Pro versus the Aria Alexa. Actually, yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about the Mate 20 Pro. I, well, I live in America, so our government's like, no Huawei phones. I don't know, I think I might be able to get one off eBay or something, so. Ooh, but Google did send this to me. 
fanny pack and the Google Pixel 3. I haven't tested this out yet, but what should I do with it? Should I compare it to the iPhone? Should I compare it to a red camera? What do you want to see out of the camera on the Google Pixel? Is it supposed to be awesome? Low light? I don't know. I don't want to have to think about the content I'm going to make. I want you guys to come up with it for me. Why not compare the cinema camera to a mirrorless DSLR that shoots 4K like a Sony a7 III or EOS R maybe? I might actually do that. Do you guys want to see that? EOS R versus like a red camera? The comparison doesn't matter because my DNA is shrinking and I'm going to die. That is a fact that gets a heart. I might just have to pick one up. You said it yourself, Mr. Potato Jet. You don't have to make a big deal every time I say the word up, okay? Up, 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 up. Okay, that's not funny, but I'm still gonna like it anyways. I don't wanna shock you, but I guess I have to click that read more and you look like the kid from the movie up. <laughs> Very funny. Eventually, this is gonna get old, okay? The only channel where I have the bell on. Oh, thank you. I mean, that deserves a like and a heart and a comment heart. Boom. I thought it was about camera compares, comparison. <laughs> Potato Jet, what's the story behind the name? I'll never tell you guys. Educating the masses on telomerase. Finally, someone that appreciate, unlike all these people that skipped it. 729, the reason we call some redneck. Who's that? <laughs> yeah, Steve is a redneck. He's got two pickup trucks. Look at that guy. <laughs> All right, now that we've successfully stretched this video past 10 minutes, I mean, I didn't tr do it on purpose. It just it happens so organically and naturally. I would never forcefully stretch my video past 10 minutes. So we're gonna end the video here now and I'll see you guys later.